Just as the summer travel season gets underway, the Department of Homeland Security is demanding that airlines and airports around the world tighten security to prevent terrorists from smuggling bombs in electronic devices. That'll mean enhanced screening on many flights heading to the U.S. Justice and Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pagase has the details. Inaction is not an option. The threat to aviation is so severe, Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly issued this warning to airports and airlines operating overseas. Those who choose not to cooperate or are slow to adapt, adopt these measures could be subject to other restrictions, including a ban on electronic devices on aircraft or even a suspension of their flights into the United States. The new measures apply to flights to the U.S. from 280 airports in 105 countries. Among the changes, enhancing overall passenger screening, increasing security protocols around aircraft and in passenger areas, expanding the use of bomb detecting dogs, and perhaps most importantly, heightened screening of personal electronic devices. We are taking prudent steps to make aircraft more secure to reduce insider threats and to identify suspicious passengers. The enhanced security comes after U.S. intelligence determined more terrorists are learning how to build an explosive hidden in a laptop, like the bomb that detonated on a flight in Somalia last year. In March, the Trump administration banned large electronics in the cabins of airplanes traveling to the U.S. from 10 airports in Africa and the Middle East. The administration had been threatening to widen that ban to the concern of some other countries. Today's action is seen as a compromise. TSA is always looking for um, the best capability. One new technology that may now be used, 3D scanners that can better identify explosives in carry-on bags. The machines are being tested at Phoenix International Airport. Steve Carroll is an assistant administrator at the TSA. The bad guy is, is very agile. Um, and always changing where we need to be that agile. The security upgrades will not all happen at once. They'll be phased in over time. Anthony, there is something else that DHS officials are concerned about, and that is the threat for potential hijackings. Jeff Begays, thanks, Jeff.